Inoblock plugs. Blocks in high density polystyrene 30 kg per square meter, used for the construction of reinforced concrete pools with insulation inside and outside. A full range. Rice standard block. Corner R15 block. Special angle block for Roman base step units. Block curved. Closed block. Standard blocks have the following benefits. Easier and cheaper to transport. Easy to store. Takes up less space. Marking and deployment of a pool. Place a pole as a reference point, datum, defining the zero point. The zero point serves as a reference depth for the pool. Mark out the perimeter of the pool. The pool should be aligned and square. The excavation should be at least 60 cm on all sides bigger than the finished pool size. This allows for ease of working and for installation of pipe work. This can be backfilled later. Remove the excavated material from site. Remember to retain sufficient material for backfilling. Continue with the trench to take the pipes and electrical cabling to the pump house. Preparation for the foundation of the base. The removal of loose soil placing gravel in the bottom of the pool. Allow depth of 15 centimeters more than the finished depth of the pool for the concrete. Place stakes to a line and define the perimeter of the pool. Using two diagonal lines mark the point of the drain. The drain to be located at the maximum depth of the pool. Placement of steel reinforcing bar to support the reinforcing mesh. The mesh should be of 4 or 5 mm in diameter throughout the pool area. Placement vertical reinforcing bars of 8 or 10 mm diameter of 50 cm spacing around the perimeter of the pool. These vertical bars are then secured to the steel mesh. Laying the concrete slab. The slab should be at least 10 cm or better 15 cm thick. A smooth even finish is required without any kind of irregularities. Preparation for placing the first block. Mark the diagonals of the pool to start assembling the blocks. Use a string to align the first block. Mounting structure of inoblick. Place two iron bars of 8 mm around the perimeter of the pool. Start the assembly by placing the first block in the corner of the deep end of the pool. Remove the projections, pins, from the bottom of the first block so that they sit flat on the concrete slab. Apply pressure to ensure it bonds firmly to the concrete slab. Continue to align the blocks around the perimeter of the pool. In a pool of unequal depth, cut the blocks at an angle where the slope starts. After the first row of blocks is completed place two or four rings of 8 mm steel reinforcing bars. Continue with the second row taking care to overlap the blocks. Apply the spray glue in omelette product to join the blocks. Opting for the four steel bars use a plastic tie wrap to secure them in place. Continue building the blocks in this way until the desired height of the pool walls is reached. 
Finally place vertical bars of 8 or 10 mm diameter of 50 cm intervals around the perimeter of the pool. Accessories installation. Firstly cut off the pins from the top of the last course of blocks. Placing skimmer. Marking the area for cutting. The skimmer should be 1 cm lower than the top level of plugs. Setting up the spotlight. Marking the area for cutting 55 to 60 cm below the final water level. Remove the cut piece and install the light fitting. Installation of the vacuum point. Marking the area for cutting 30 to 35 cm below the final water level. Remove the cut piece and install the vacuum point. Construction of the Roman Bay Steps The steps are constructed from standard hollow concrete blocks of 15 cm. Build up the blocks to the desired height, backfill the gaps with hardcore and top them off with cement, ensuring the surface is smooth and even. The top step should be at least 30 cm below the finished height of the pool. Installation of the special profile for anchoring the liner. Glue the special inoblet profile using silicone glue. The glue can be spread thickly or thinly to ensure the profile is level. The profile must be cut to fit the curvature of the radius of the corners and of the Roman Bay steps. Where the profile of the pool walls meets the profile of the Roman Bay, cut the profile at 45 degrees to ensure the two parts meet correctly and the line of the group for the liner continues uninterrupted. Place a profile cut to the curvature of the Roman staircase. Installation of branching bars. Install bracing bars along the pool's entire length to support the walls while the concrete is introduced. Laying the concrete, walls and stairs. Firstly ensure the pool walls are of the correct height and level. It is better to use a pump to introduce the concrete into the cavities of the plugs. Introduce the concrete around the pool evenly, making several circuits and filling the cavity evenly. The concrete should be of high quality this can reduce time of construction. Connection of pipe work. Using rigid tube and elbows drop the service pipes to the bottom of the excavation trench. Then connect these to flexible pipes and take them to the pump house. The PVC pipe should be firstly cleaned with solvent and then glued using a good quality PVC glue. Finally connect the service pipes to their correct points on the pump house. After 24 or 48 hours, remove the bracing bars. Backfill the trench around the pool. Cover the exposed tubes with sand to protect them, and backfill the trench with earth or hard core. Install steel mesh at 4 or 5 mm diameter. 
Installation of coping stones. Start fixing the four corners. Fix with cement or recommended adhesive and fit with an overhang of 2 or 3 centimeters over the edge of the pool. Carefully measure along a line between each corner. Allow a gap of 7 or 8 millimeters between each coping. Work from the outside towards the center of each line trying to avoid ending with a small coping. Where possible cut the copings in order to maintain the minimum measurement of 35 to 40 centimeters. Finish your work by filling the gaps. Preparing the pool to fit the liner. Ensure the floor and walls of the pool are thoroughly cleaned and free of irregularities and completely smooth. If necessary, repair irregularities with a cement product content. Fixing the Joe X style underlay. Starting on the walls, apply the special Inoblock adhesive. Apply this with a comb trowel with short teeth. Finish by fitting the underlay to the base of the pool and finally the steps. Ensure the underlay is free of wrinkles as these will show through when the liner is fitted. Where two edges meet make a bud joint do not overlap. Finally tape over all joints with self-adhesive tape. Installation of liner. Cut out the underlay around the areas for the services skimmers, drain, vacuum, lights and returns and apply the gaskets supplied with each item. Then fix in place each of them using fixing supplied. The liner is factory supplied and made to fit the pool exactly. Start by placing the liner into the groove which runs around the top edge of the pool. Once the liner is in position and spread out over the floor of the pool, by using a vacuum to suck out the air from the space between the pool wall and the liner will help remove any wrinkles. You can now begin filling the pool with water. Fill to a depth of about 20 centimeters and continue to remove any wrinkles which may still be in the liner. Shut off the water and fit the train securing ring with the screws provided. You can then cut out the circle of liner with a sharp knife and fit the train cover. Care and attention are required when cutting out the liner. Continue to fill the pool with water until you reach approximately 10 centimeters below the bottom of the lights. Stop the water and fix the light securing ring with the screws provided. As with the drain cut out the circle of line to expose the light unit and fit the covering ring. Continuing the same way with the vacuum and skimmer parts. Fill the pool to the correct depth, about halfway up the height of the skimmer throat. Set the fill to filtrate with the multi-port valve, ensuring that skimmer, drain and return valves are open and the vacuum is closed, and start the pump. Introduce the chemicals required and check the pH of the water. pH 7.2 and 1.5 ppm chlorine. Happy swimming!